Our sources directly challenge a really common perception in physics. You hear it all the time. That gravity is inexplicably weak. Oh, yeah. The weakest of the four forces. That's standard textbook stuff. Right. Physicists often highlight how much weaker it is compared to, say, the electromagnetic force, especially when you look at tiny particles interacting. But our sources emphatically state gravity is the primary governing force of the universe. Whoa. Okay, that's a bold statement. It's not just bold. It's a direct contradiction of that widely accepted notion. And it forces us, really, to reconsider everything we thought we knew about its power. It absolutely does. Yeah. And it asks us to distinguish between strength, maybe, and uh, influence or scope at different scales. How could something perceived as weak at the atomic level? Right, where electromagnetism dominates. How could that same thing be so overwhelmingly powerful on a cosmic scale that, as the source says, gravity is so strong that it shapes all celestial objects? That's the paradox. Think about it. Every star, every planet... Every galaxy, every cluster of galaxies, their very structure, their existence in the form they take, their dynamics, their evolution over billions of years. It's all gravity. It's all a direct, undeniable result of gravity. Mm. Without gravity, there are no stars, no planets, no galaxies, no us. The sheer scale of gravitational influence. Mm -hmm. It's staggering. From dust clouds to superclusters. Exactly. From the smallest cosmic dust cloud starting to clump together into a planetesimal all the way up to the largest galactic supercluster holding trillions of stars together over cosmic history. When you consider its domain of influence, which is the entire observable universe, yeah. the idea of it being weak becomes almost, well, absurd in that context. Its power isn't just in its individual tug between two small things close together, but in its cumulative, omnipresent sculpting of the entire cosmos. 